In this TA Tech Tip, we will analyze data collected on a Q5000 assay sorption analyzer within Universal Analysis. To begin, let's open the data file in UA by selecting File Open, browse into the location of your data file, and then select an OK. In the Data File Information window, you will note sample name, sample size, operator, as well as methods and comments. Select OK. Since this experiment was performed isothermally, it's best to set the x-axis to time. To view the sorption-desorption experiment, multiple sorption and desorption steps have been performed for this particular sample. I can also right-click, select signals, and add relative humidity as a signal to the plot. Here you can see that RH has been stepped incrementally from 0% RH to 90% RH, and two sorption and two desorption steps have been performed. Since the sample was initially dried at room temperature and 0% RH, I need to now reset the initial sample mass to the dry mass as weight loss has occurred. To do this, zoom into the drying step, select Analyze, Reset Size, and then choose a data point at the end of the drying step. Select Enter. The initial sample size has gone from 4.93 to 4.85 milligrams. This new weight will be used as the initial 100% sample size. This data file can then be further analyzed by selecting Analyze Humidity Sorption Isotherm. The last data point for each RH step will be used to generate this plot. As you can see, the new plot has a y-axis signal of moisture content versus relative humidity. The first and second sorption cycles as well as the two desorption steps are being displayed. Sorption analysis can be used to determine how sample exposure to a given humidity results in a physiochemical change in the material, whether or not that sample has a change in its hydration state, its morphology, or whether or not uh, no change in the material has taken place. In addition to performing a sorption isotherm plot, or generating a sorption isotherm plot, you may also perform a various analysis for surface area analysis using the BET or GAB models. In universal analysis, we have generated a sorption isotherm using a Q5000 SA data file. In addition, you can carry the analysis further to include kinetics and surface area calculations. Thank you for joining me in today's TA Tech Tip.